I'm Lucy Fink. I'm a video producer at Refinery29, but every so often I like to try other people's jobs. Today I'm at 14J in Tribeca, New York, and I'm going to see if I have what it takes to be a hair colorist. This is Lucy for Hire. My name is David Adams, I'm a hair colourist and I'm one of the owners of 14J Salon here in Tribeca. The job of a hair colour specialist is to look at somebody's haircuts, to look at their skin tone, their eye colour, and then the hair colour is sort of the painting on the canvas. We have to have a really good, solid understanding of how you see colour and how I see colour. While I would have loved to dive right in and paint someone's hair, I first needed a crash course in colour theory from master colourist David Adams. So Lucy, your first challenge today is going to be colour theory. Colour theory is really understanding how colour works, how we see colour, how light affects colour, and the most important thing is knowing which colours to put together and which colours not to put together. It's like art school exactly. in elementary school, but I'm about to put it on someone's head yes. for a few months. Exactly. You could mix red and yellow, which will make what? Green. Oh, that's blue and yellow. I'm close. Close, but far away. I'm going to hand you off to Deanna now. After I felt a bit more comfortable with color theory, I was ready to meet with my victim. Uh, I, I mean, my client. Emily. Welcome to 14J. Thank you. Hi, Emily. Hi. Lucy. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Okay, so I'm just pretending I don't know Emily, but really, she's a New York City private yoga instructor and a friend of mine. We had a brief consultation to hear what Emily wanted. I'm looking to transform. It's been a really big year of transformation for me, so now I'm thinking red. Something low maintenance would really be best. It would suit my lifestyle. I'm a busy lady. And as my coaches taught me, at the salon, everyone, even friends, must be treated like any paying customer. This is beautiful. Perfect. Gorgeous, yeah. I really love a lot of these. The first step to realizing Emily's hair dreams? Pre-lightening her hair. As I learned in my color theory crash course, it's essential to lighten the hair a few shades before coloring to achieve the correct final tone. This is a major technique. Okay, I've got it. I followed Deanna's directions. Crease it. Slowly. Carefully making sure to not make any mistakes. Only 50,000 more to go. <laughs> and after the pre-lightener sat on Emily's hair for a while, we washed it out. So I just did my circular, it went around. Now being a hair washer is an entirely different skill set that takes time to master as well. This, and I'm going to get the highest point of the head. Got it. Very soapy. Yeah. Your second challenge today is going to be formulation. So formulation is understanding the guest's natural hair color and how it will react to color. So we really have to understand which color we put back in the hair versus which color we take out of the hair. Deanna and I went into the back and began mixing colors. So we're gonna be melting three different shades. Time to formulate. We had to balance just the right amount of the different materials to achieve the exact tone Emily wanted. This is red? Yep, wow. And this just activates all this. Yep. This stage involved a ton of math, measuring, and mixing, and it's perhaps the most important stage if you want to get the color right. This is going to be a fun fall color yeah. in the middle of winter. Your third challenge today is going to be application. So it's really looking at the hair, and once we know exactly the result we want, then we'll select the right technique to use. <laughs> this is it. Thanks. Yeah. It won't look like this on your head. All gloved up. Deanna showed me the exact right technique for applying the color diligently. I had some issues being neat at first. Let me make that a little bit more clean right there. Keep it clean. Otherwise, David said, you'll be cleaning the floor. But eventually, Deanna set me on course, and I was cruising. Do I look like I've been doing this for 30 years? <laughs> yeah. Because I've only been alive for 25. I felt I had gotten the technique down, and about 30 minutes later, she was all done. Your final challenge today is going to be blow dry and styling. Now came the fun part. Wow. We rinsed out Emily's hair. Nice and colorful. <laughs> I even gave her a hand massage in the 14J way. And then we moved her back to the chair for a blow dry. Emily played with the salon dog. Meanwhile, I'm busy at work over here. I fully dried her entire head. 
Fill so you're gonna up. have to go like this and just wrap it. Oh, I see, and then close And it. just don't even close it. Oh, don't nope. close it. You okay. just gotta leave it open. And then, there you go. I see. And then went through with the curling iron and gave her some loose speech waves. And just like that, she was a new woman. One, two, <laughs> three. Wow. I was on my feet for almost six hours coloring Emily's hair. I learned not only how many years of schooling it takes to get here, but also how much thought, theory, and hard work goes into each client. If Lucy really worked here as a hair colorist, would you be happy coming back to her again? Oh, absolutely, yes. And I think if she wanted to come here and train as a hair colorist, we'd definitely say, yes, Lucy, come. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You don't have to ask me. I'll take the job, David. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Thank Emily. You. After today, I have a complete newfound appreciation for hair colorists. This has to be one of the most difficult jobs I've ever attempted in Lucy for Hire. And it had some of the highest stakes. But I think we did a great job. And Emily looked lovely. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. Comment below, let us know what you thought of this hair transformation. And as always, click right here to watch another video, here to subscribe to us on YouTube, and right here for my personal YouTube channel. See ya!